Hey, Scentsy fans, it's Sarah from Scentsy with Sarah Lynn. Happy Black Friday. I will admit I am pre-recording this video. That way I can be out shopping till I drop. I hope you guys are all doing the same or did the same earlier today uh, to get most of your Christmas shopping out of the way. I love Christmas shopping early. I feel so anxious right now. Right up until like the point as... As long as the gifts are all done by December 3rd, I feel perfect. I can handle maybe hitting a couple stores to do stocking stuffers at last minute. But really, I don't want to be anywhere near a mall when it's Christmas chaos. I really don't. Like, I worked retail for a very long time and pff, not a fan. Absolute not a fan of the Christmas crush or craziness. So I will admit I am pre-recording this video. Um, and there has yet to be any big sensey announcement about a Black Friday sale. Hopefully between now and the time this video airs, Sensi released some sort of sale news. Keeping my fingers crossed and I will record a video if there is a special announcement that comes out. Keeping my fingers crossed again. Um, so yeah, big shout out to the Western Mustangs. Uh, not sure if you're familiar with Western University. Oh, oh, speaking of local, I have the best news ever. So a couple days ago, I received a message through my Facebook business page. And this woman's like, I hope this is the right Sarah Lynn from YouTube. Do you happen to live in Elgin County and you have a YouTube channel? I'm like, yeah, that's me. She says, well, I live in Elgin County, too. Her name is Paula. She is a fellow Sunsea sister. And I live in the boonies way on the west side of Elgin County. She lives in the boonies on the east side of Elgin County. How cool is that? Like, it's a big, wide world out there, but really not so much. So cool that somebody local watches my YouTube channel. So I'm really excited to connect with Paula and, you know, we're going to start by taking over Elgin County and then maybe the world. Who knows? We'll see what happens. So I am pre-recording uh, this week's What's Warming video. So let's get into What's Warming the week of November 24th. I have quite the assortment here. So in Tatum's room, she has been warming toffee butter crunch as well as she has hazelnut latte upstairs right now. Both of them are such like really rich, rich bakery scents. Oh, I love Toffee Butter Crunch all on its own. Um, hazelnut Latte is really nice too. People have asked me before if the frothy milk in the new Cinnamon Chai Latte is the same as Hazelnut Latte. My nose personally can't can identify any similarities because the hazelnut in hazelnut latte is so nutty um, that I didn't get like a sour milk note where with Scentsy's new release holiday brick cinnamon chai latte at first I got a very sour note to it with the milk um, as you all know as everyone knows I, I warmed up to that I love that now can't get enough of it actually it will be what's warming next week because this week I kind of took a break from it but I'm starting to miss it. It's about time I break out my bricks again. So Toffee Butter Crunch has been blasting in Tatum's room, my 17 year old. Gracie has been going between Sassy, Girl's, Sassy Girl Aroma. Um, I know in my D stash I pronounced this wrong. Well, they printed it wrong. They printed F-A-N-T-A-Y Land. It's actually supposed to be Fantasy Land. Um, this, I don't have the scent notes on me, but it smells like Fruit Loops. Hello, who doesn't like some Toucan Sam? And this stuff throws like a beast. So she's been alternating in her room between Sassy Girl Aroma, Indie Vendor, Fantasy Land, and Scentsy's Bubblegum. This was from the June Bring Back My Bar. This is not our new release in the Kids Line Bubblegum Blast. We have yet to warm that one, but 
We will, percent scores. Um, oh, this one's so good. I love this, and I'm really happy that we picked up quite a few of these. It smells identical to the bubble gum that's in trading cards. The scent notes say that it has mint in it. My nose doesn't detect mint. I should ask Grace if she smells mint. But no, it's it's fantastic on cold as well as it is a top performer. And pff, those are perfect scents for her because she loves the really sweet confectionery blends. So bubblegum and Fruit Loops, pff, perfection. In the baby's room and courtesy of my friends in Regina, Saskatchewan, I have been blasting my wish. I absolutely love this for the nursery. <laughs> I do have since he's retired newborn nursery, but I don't know about you. I get very sick of baby powder, like real quick. Um, I have been kind of adventurous lately, and I'm mixing the newborn nursery with different stuff. My wish is gorgeous. Oh, it's so nice, and I typically don't like fig, but it's so light and such a beautiful, beautiful blend. I love this. I think it came back in the flash sale or the clearance section at one point, but it's gone now, unfortunately. And I have mixed that with newborn nursery, and believe it or not, it is gorgeous. So I received this in a random act of kindness last week, but between warming it in the baby's room as well as in our bathroom, I've already gone through a whole bar. So <laughs> I need to slow down on the My Wish. So that has been going in baby's room as well as bathroom. The other one that I've been alternating between my wish in the bathroom is Sensi's retired Southern Evening. I'm kind of on a Southern Evening kick and that one too I need to slow down because I'm really putting a dent in my hoard. Oh, I love this. I love, love, love this. I can't get enough of it. And I will cry if Sensi doesn't bring it back in the spring and summer 2018 catalog. So Southern Evening was in the 2017 catalog when we used to have a romance and a Sensi man section. More recently, Sensi has kind of married these two into a category called Darling and Dashing. So instead of being like, very, you know, this is for girls, this is for boys, Darling and Dashing, they've just kind of blended them together because really with home fragrance, they can all be kind of unisex, right? So the scents for Southern Evenings say French lavender, geranium, subtle fruits, and white musk will prove an enchanting escape. I don't know about none of that. Honestly, I... I would never put those scent notes with this bar. Never. French lavender and geranium. I don't I don't even know what I smell in this. Like this just smells dead sexy to me. Apparently flowers and fruits smell dead sexy. I had no idea. All I know is that if I ever met a man that smelled like this, he better look out. This is sexiness. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Love this. Hope Sensi brings it back. In the laundry room, I have been warming my staple clothesline. I love this. More recently this week, if you watched my episode of Scent Scores on Sensi's By the Sea, I was really excited to find another Sensi bar that actually covers pet odor. So I've found a lot of home fragrances clash with kitty litter. Uh, and let's face it, nothing smells nice with cat poo. It's just gross. My daughter is pretty diligent at cleaning the cat box, but I don't even like the smell of clean kitty litter. So, so far I have found Sensi's clothesline, apple and cinnamon sticks, and now by the sea, all three of those top performers smell fantastic and they completely mask pet odors so love that i've been warming them both in the laundry room this week 
on the main floor of the house, and again, courtesy of my girls in Regina, Saskatchewan, sent me a blueberry rush. And I admit I haven't warmed this on its own yet. I have been mixing almost a whole bar of this with toffee butter crunch. We've actually gone through two of these this week together. This smells like blueberry waffles and it smells up the entire main floor of the house like just to die for mouth-watering blueberry waffles. It's amazing. Love this. So Blueberry Rush is currently retired. Again, fingers crossed it comes back in the spring and summer collection because I love this. Love it even more when these are combined. So again, thank you so much to my girls in Saskatchewan for sending me this. I'd never tried it before. Super pumped. Uh, the other thing that I've been warming, and I'm not going to say too much about it because you're going to have to stay tuned for my upcoming episode of Scent Scores. I've already filmed it. It is in my YouTube scheduled playlist. Um, it will be coming up soon, but Scentsy's brand new release, Pretty and Plum. I believe I had this in my November warming basket. And I think I said before that this smells like Crayola crayons on cold. And I don't like my wax to smell like wax, but on cold it did like just, that was my first impression of the bar. Since I've warmed this, holy Hannah. Not going to say anything else, but you got to stay tuned for my episode of Scent Scores on Pretty and Plum. So that has been warming kind of all over the house as well. In my bedroom, I have tried Swan Creek's Bourbon Maple Sugar Drizzle Melts. Um, I picked this up on my last trip to Fort Gratiot, Michigan, when I went over to pick up my multi-vendor D-stash. Which reminds me, I have another six boxes waiting at the border for me. Oh, man. Wait and see. I have four... D stashes. I have a Barrett's Wax Craft order. I have a Sassy Girl Aromas order. I have Southbound Soaps. I have two Super Tarts orders. And I just placed a Vintage Chic Scents restock order. Man, I'm going to need to build an addition on this house. <laughs> that Scentsy room is not big enough. So Mr. Kong's mom talks about Swan Creek's drizzle melts quite often. I am going to do a spotlight on this, so stay tuned for that. That is coming up. Bourbon maple sugar on cold. I remember the whole way home from the States, I just left the lid off this in the car, and it smelt up the whole car. Oh, so rich. So delicious. Stay tuned for my spotlight on Swan Creek's drizzle melts. Last but not least, it is warming in my bedroom right now, and let me tell you, it is to die for. I have been warming Sassy Girl Aromas Sugar Cookie Latte. This is so good. Oh, and so rich, like the latte note in here. Oh, if you like coffee and you like bakery blends, wow, knock your socks off. This is a top performer also. Like I'm really kind of learning the ropes with vendor wax. I have found that Scentsy Warmers, you can warm vendor wax in Scentsy Warmers, but it doesn't give you the throw because vendor wax requires a higher wattage to really get the full effect so I'm not sure if you can see it this little guy right here this little elephant that's a mainstays warmer that I think someone gave Tatum for Christmas a couple years ago and then I also picked up a Glade hot plate warmer at a yard sale and those suckers get super hot I have this here right now because the baby and the pets aren't around if you do get into vendor wax and using the hotter, higher wattage plate warmers, mainstays, glade, whatever it is, um, keep them away from your pets and your children. 
that is why I started selling Scentsy. I am a huge fan of their warmers. Like, there's absolutely, I have yet to find a company that makes warmers as safe as Scentsy or as beautiful. Like, that elephant is cute, but in comparison to Scentsy, like, there's, there is none. There's no comparison. And they're dangerous. So, please, 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 if you get into vendor wax and using hot plate warmers, like hot, hot ones, Use with caution around your little babies, your fur babies, your real babies. Uh, so yeah, that's what has been cooking it in my bedroom right now. It smells like to die for. So that's it. We have Clothesline by Scentsy. Southern Evening, which is retired, hopefully coming back. Scentsy's My Wish, retired. Bubblegum, retired. Pretty and Plum, brand new release. Stay tuned for this one. Uh, toffee butter crunch. I think this should be a staple this time of year in everybody's collection. This makes a phenomenal mixer. A blueberry rush. If you have any of this left in your Scentsy hoard from the summer, break this out and make some blueberry waffles with me. Uh, Swan Creek's drizzle melts and Sassy Girl Aromas Fantasyland and sugar cookie latte. It is delicious up in here. I have been going through a ton of wax. I admit this is not the only things that I've been warming. I've been warming so much. I can't tell you them all though because this video would take 25 hours. These are just some highlights from this week. Stay tuned because I have a November's empty basket that is like overflowing and I have so much more wax on the way. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Smash that bell up there for future content notification and subscribe. Join us because I bring home fragrance videos daily. Bye for now.